Hello and welcome to SnackTube, my little buddos. Today I've got for you some spuddos. I have crisps, yes. So for those that don't know, spuddos is a, it's a crisp service you can order online. So they're a bit like salt and shake. You get a bunch of plain crisps with no flavour, uh, but you get powder that you could add to your crisps, shake them up to add the flavour that you want. And um, this is something I, I saw on Instagram one day, just looked at it, thought it was a really cool idea. Figured, yeah, I'll put that one in the in the bank for later, maybe I'll get that, try it for you guys. And what do you know, my missus went and got me them for my birthday. And not only did she get me a giant tub of the crisps, she also got me one of every single flavour of dust. So we've got quite a lot to try today. I'm going to try them all in this one special extravaganza video for you guys. So I hope you enjoy and hopefully these will be really nice because they sounded really good on the internet. And um, yeah, lots of good stuff comes off the internet. Lots of bad stuff too, but lots of good stuff. And I think this is probably going to be one of the good ones. So I don't know exactly what she ordered. I know that you can you can order... Um, there's up to six flavours that you can get and you can order either a one kilogram bag or a 500 gram bag of crisps um, and then you can buy, you can get a box, you can either get the crisps in just a bag, uh, like because if you've already got one of these boxes you, you don't need a second one, or you can buy them in the box and this is, this is the first time I bought them, they've got the box, if I do decide to get them again I can buy a bag and fill my box up costs a little less rather than buying the box every time. So environmentally conscious, which is good. We always like to see that from these sorts of things. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is the 500 gram or the one kilogram box. Um, it's quite heavy. It might be the one kilogram. I don't know. I probably should have asked before I started filming this. But uh, yeah, so this is a big box. And um, yeah, it ranges from about £12 up to about £40, depending on what you what combination of things you get. So I think this is probably around about £40, and that includes the box, the the crisps, six different flavours, and there's quite a lot of the flavour dust as well, and that's going to be way too much for just these crisps. So I can use that on other stuff as well, or if I buy more crisps, all I'm doing is buying the crisps. And uh, you get a bunch of these things as well, which are shaker bags. So you got a big pile of shaker bags, so you can put your crisps in there, add your dust, give them a wee shake, and boom, you've got flavorful crisps. Uh, so yeah, it's not unreasonable. Um, more expensive than crisps you get in the supermarket, but these are hand-cut crisps made online by somebody. And uh, you're buying it in bulk, so you're getting good quality, well, hopefully we're getting good quality crisps at what is a reasonable price. But... We're here to judge. This is the whole point of this channel, to try these things and see if they're actually any good. So, it comes with a wee thing to... Just getting a bit more information. Thank you for all your support. Uh, if you buy it, uh, you get 10% off your next order as well. So, there's a wee QR code there, which I'm going to cover up so you guys don't steal my crisp this good. And, uh, yeah... This is how we do it. You pour out a load of delicious spuddles, plain crisps, dust them up with your favourite spud dust, shake them up to get that spud dust all over. Boom. And there's their Instagram, spuddles underscore crisps. If you Google spuddles, or it's just spuddles.com, you can find the website yourself. So check it out, see what you think, and um, we'll give it a try just now. So let's, um, I'm going to bust open the box, just show you guys what they look like. Uh, so let's, uh, let me see. Okay, this is on quite tight. You want to keep it airtight so that the crisps don't go stale. Because you're not eating all these crisps in one go. I mean, maybe they are a party, but it's a lot of crisps. That is a lot of crisps. They smell really nice. They smell potatoey. I'd say they kind of look and smell a bit like kettle chips. You know, if you've had kettle chips before. I'm going to try one just now, just on its own. I'll take a small one. 
just on its own, no seasoning, just to see what it's like. Give it the old taste test then. Yeah. Good. Crunchy. Uh, potatoey. And um, yeah, keeping them in that tub. I've had this for about a week now. Um, no staleness whatsoever. Tastes great. Uh, not too greasy, but a little bit greasy. You like your crisps a little bit greasy. You want your hands to have all the mm -mm 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 greasy saltiness on them. So, yeah, nice crisps so far. Hopefully, the flavours will be good. So, I'll introduce you to the flavours just now before we give them a wee try. I'm going to put this lid back on just while we do that. So, all the flavours are a little bit different. Um, some of them are, are, are standard crisp flavours. Some of them not so much. So I'll show you the, the first one here. This is Nooch and Onion. I don't know what a Nooch is. Um, creamy nutritional yeast and onion flavour seasoning for Spuddles crisps, roasties, veggies, salads and more. So yeah, they, they do sort of say on here if you want to put it on roast potatoes, on a salad, uh, on veggies. I reckon some of these flavours might go quite well on chicken uh, or on beef maybe. So you can, uh, you can put, you put this on other stuff rather than just saving it for the crisps. Uh, they do have nutritional information. To be honest, I'm not really going to go over nutritional information because your main um, calories and all that is going to be in the crisps rather than in these because these are individually packaged things. They have to put the stuff on here, but you're talking about 16.3 calories per five grams. And you're not putting five grams of that on one portion of crisps, really, let's be honest. Um, but it's yeast extract, onion powder, sugar, paprika extract, Salt, obviously. Manufactured, manufacturing site handles gluten, egg, fish, soybeans, milk, celery, sulfur dioxide, and mustard. So if you've got any allergies, probably these aren't uh, the best thing for you. Um, and Spuddles is a trading name of Analog Republic Limited. Visit spuddles.com for more flavours. Made in the UK. So yeah, that's Nooch and Onion, which I think is going to be sort of cheesy, cheesy and cheesy and oniony, maybe. Uh, next flavour is a classic one, I would say. So this is salt and vinegar. Pretty straightforward. Make your cheeks wrinkle. Flavour seasoning for spuddles, crisp, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, salt and vinegar, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, what else have we got? We've got this one, which is one of my favourite flavours of crisp. Prawn cocktail. I do love a prop cocktail Proc cocktail? A prawn cocktail crisp. Have you ever had uh, prawn cocktail Pringles? They're the bomb.com. Tangy Mary Rose sauce flavour seasoning. Yum. You've also got chip shop curry. So chip shop curry sauce flavour. I do love a chip shop curry sauce. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Taste of the chip shop seasoning. Uh, two more. Next one. David Bacon. I don't know what it's, what David Bacon is. Delicious bacon with a spicy brown sauce flavour seasoning. I don't know why it's called David Bacon. Is David Bacon a person that I, I've never heard of? I, I, don't, I don't know. I know of um, Kevin Bacon, but I don't know who David Bacon is. Bacon, anyway. And the last one, this is the special one. So this is the, um, this is like a limited edition one that they've got out just now. And this is the Dooner Kebab. I do love me a Dooner Kebab. Rich, savoury and spicy flavour seasoning for Spuddles crisps. Boom. Dora kebab. And you can see the old Spuddle man on the front there. Right, well that's the introduction of all of the uh, different stuff that you get with the Spuddles. Long introduction, I know, but we're being comprehensive. I guess it's time to give them a try. So we'll grab ourselves a wee shaky bag. Boom. And uh, let's open this tub. We'll get some crisps in here, shall we? Oh, it's really on there. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Right. Let's get some crisps in the bag. Let's grab a, just a, just a couple. I'm not gonna, not gonna go mental at the moment because I'm trying a lot of crisps here. So we'll go with the nutrient onion to start off. Okay, 
Do I need to? Yes, I do. I need to take the protective wrapping off. Shala. Get rid of that. Oh, that does smell cheesy. Right. The lid back on. You quite good. You've got you've got the two things for it, so you can open it if you want to chuck a big clump in, or you've got the dusty holes, so you can put just a little bit in. We're just going to put a wee bit in here. A wee bit of the, the dust. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. And give that shake of your knee. Oh, that's fun. Right. Let's try this. This is Nooch and Onion Flavour Spuddos. Yeah, box out of the way. Right. Mmm. See, the good thing about doing this yourself, adding the seasoning salt, is you can add as little or as much seasoning salt as, as you want. So if you want it pure, dead, punchy in the mouth, flavourful, you can add tons. So, we're not restricted. A lot of bags of crisps you buy, you go, ah, there's not really enough flavour, it needs more flavour. With this, we're not really restricted by that. We just add more flavour if we want more flavour. I'll be honest, I feel like this needs a little bit more flavour. We're learning, right? We're learning how to, make, how to eat spuddos. So, it's a bit more salt, I think. Get about another wee shake of Rooney. Yeah, it's really nice. It's um, it's basically cheese and onion. Really strong cheesy flavour as well. Um, I'm trying what I would like them to the kettle chip ones. I mean, you've got if you tried the kettle chip cheese and onion. Similar to that, or similar to like uh, Golden Wonder cheese and onion, not like not like Walkers. Walkers are nice, but I think Golden Wonder's cheese and onion are better. Um, I'd say that's quite close to the Golden Wonder, so very nice, very nice. Just gonna put that over here out the way, and have a wee drink between each one just to cleanse the palate. I've got half a can, well, not even half a can of Pepsi here. Ah. Uh, that's why I also bought diluted just with me too. I'm just gonna throw this, but it'll end up going everywhere. <laughs> I'm just trying to be cool for you guys. Um, yeah, we'll put this over here. Right, next up, grab another wee bag. Don't wanna do it in the same bag, because we're trying not to mix flavors. Although, hmm, there you go, that's another thing you could do. You can mix flavors. Think about a, Salt and vinegar, I'll add a bit of punch to the nooch and onion. Boom, chuck it in there. You want cheesy onion doner kebab? And put the two in, boom. Got double flavor town. Yes, I'm gonna be experimenting with this, I'll tell you. Right, four crisps. That'll do it, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I, I really don't wanna <laughs> fire through all of these just now. Um, so I'll be here all day. All right. Let's go with the next one, another classic flavour, the salt and vinegar. We need to take the, the bit off, the seal. Hmm, interesting sort of vinegary smell. Right, let's get a bit of the salt and vinegar. Oh shoot, that one came out a lot quicker <laughs> than the nooch. All right, give it a shakery. I'm having so much fun. This is great. Can I do this every day? Yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> All right. Salt and vinegar. Hmm. I'd say it's more table salt than vinegar. It tastes like table salt. You know that table salt has got a slightly different taste to like sea salt? 
I guess maybe it's just because the granules are smaller. Um, it's got a sort of a table saltiness to it. With a hint of vinegar. Um, hmm. It's nice, but mm, I think I would have preferred that a bit more vinegary. I'm a vinegar fiend, man. I, I I like pure vinegar, like to the point where I will lick vinegar off a plate if there's a big pool of it after I finished eating my dinner. My mum does that too, and it's uh, it's disgusting to watch, but delicious to in, to enjoy. So uh, yeah, salt and vinegar. It's nice. It's nice. Uh, but not the best salt and vinegar I've had, I'll be perfectly honest. Alright, let's try... Let's go for a weird one. I suppose they're all a bit weird now. So we've got Donner, Bacon, Chip Shop, or Prawn Cocktail. Let's go with Chip Shop Curry. Let's try the curry one next. So let's grab a, another wee bag. If I can. Get just one. There we go. Right. We've got our bag. A few crisps in there. I'm just going to cleanse the old palate. All right, let's get the, the seal off here. Mm. Give it a wee sniff. Ooh. Mm, you can smell. Mm, you can really smell all the curry ingredients in that. That smells lovely. What is in this? Spices, cumin, coriander, turmeric, fennel, fenugreek, cayenne, black pepper, sugar, salt, onion, yeast extract, garlic, tomato powder, paprika, maltodextrin. Mm. Yeah, that smells lovely. It smells like chip shop curry. It really does. It smells lovely. Right, let's get a sprinkle. This one doesn't come out as easy as the salt and vinegar. Come on. Might just open the big bowl, the big one. There we go. Alright. Give our bag a little shaky shaky. Shaky shaky. Woo! Right. Definitely use too much salt because it's all pulled to the bottom. <laughs> right. Even stains it brown. Awesome. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Yeah. That is nice. I would say it's, it's, it's leaning... I don't know if chip shops in uh, like England or whatever are maybe a bit different, but it's leaning more towards the chip shop curry sauce that you get in the supermarket, the Bisto stuff, as opposed to the actual stuff you get in a, a chippy, because they are different. But I love that stuff. It's, it's still nice. Yeah, you can really taste all the different spices and tastes like curry sauce. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was nice. Would definitely recommend that one. That's good. Okay. Wee palate cleanser. All right, next up. <laughs> We're gonna go for David Bacon. Let's do it, David B. Grab ourselves a new bag of wool. Get a couple of crispos in there. So you don't even necessarily need to have the shaker bag, so you can do it in a in a tub or a bowl. If you were so inclined, if you didn't want to get the bags, or you run out of bags. Give this one, this David Bacon, a wee sniff. It's bacon and brown sauce. Definitely smells like fake bacon, which um, can be nice on crisps, but uh, as we found out, actual fake bacon, like that Richmond stuff, is bloody disgusting. Well, let's, uh, let's try this one here. Well, that one comes out quite easily as well. All right. Give it the old shake -a Boom. 
right. Yeah, that's lovely. It's definitely um got that lovely fake bacon flavor that goes really good with uh, certain bacon snacks like uh, frazzles or on bacon crisps. I do like bacon crisps. What I was saying there before my camera decided to freak out and collapse uh, was that I love frazzles. Frazzles are great. Bacon crisps, lovely. This uh, David Bacon, very, very tasty. Um, it's got a really nice bony bacon flavour that goes so good with those crisps. So yeah, definitely would recommend that. That is a very nice flavour. Uh. Oh, could have done that before I turned the camera back on, but ah, screw it. You guys have seen me burp a million times. All right, two flavors to go. And these are the two that I'm hoping will be really good, that I will enjoy the most. So grab a couple of E-Crispos, get them in the bag. And we'll go with the Perron Cocktail. There we seal off here. Ooh. Hmm. That is pungent. Quite fishy smelling. Hmm. Ooh, I don't know about this one. But we'll try it. Alright. Some of our prawn cocktail dust in here. Mm. Doesn't like the wee, the wee tubes. I'll get the, get the big one open out. This, one, this is all stuck together. That is annoying. Um, do I have anything to break it up? I guess I'm just gonna have to use my fingers. Yeah, this one's all stuck together, so I'm just gonna have to finger some in. That sounds worse than it is. Uh, okay. Shake, shake your booty. Shake, shake, shake your booty. I don't think that's a real song. But feel free to shake your booty. All right, let's try the prawn cocktails. Yeah, quite nice actually, yeah. Sharp, sharp flavor from the um, um, the tomato-y sauce bit of the Mary Rose sauce. Um, yeah. Nice. I'd better call cocktail though. Just saying. But maybe I just didn't put enough salt on. I need more salt. I need to double the salt intake on these. Not, some, not something my doctor would like me saying, but <laughs> there you go. Right. Last flavour. And it's my last bag too. So they gave me enough bags, so we're going for each flavor. So let's uh, get a few crisps in here. Oh. And just my last wee palate cleanser. <sighs> and then it's time for doner kebab. Wonder what this will smell like. Hmm. Interesting. Has some donnery smells to it. What is actually in Donner Kebab flavour seasoning? Uh, spices, rice flour, yeast extract, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, garam masala, nutmeg, cardamom, bunch of other stuff. <laughs> right. Let's get it in here. Yeah. Come on, we want, we want a lot more than that. Come on. Let's get it salty. Right, I'll need to open the big one. When, it, when they're these this full, using the small uh, holes isn't that easy, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, loads in there, right. 
Shake your maracas with me, baby. Just some of the fun we like to have here on the Snack Tube channel. Those look sufficiently coated. Boom, Donner Kebab Crisp. Ooh. That one's got a bit of kick. Woo! That one's a bit spicy. <clears throat> oh, quite a bit spicy actually. Um, I wouldn't say it tastes like a doner kebab, really. It tastes more like a, like a tikka masala. It's got that garam masala in it, so that's that's really the main thing you can taste. And garam masala is a lovely spice blade, that really is. Goes great on so many things. Chicken especially. But yeah, I would put that down as doner kebab. If I was taste testing that and I was guessing, I would say that's like a chicken tikka kind of flavour. It's a bit more beefy than chicken though. So it's a bit like beef tikka. That's the thing. Um, it's nice. It's nice. I like the flavour. It's quite spicy though. So if you're, if you're not in it spicy thing, you just don't get that. But it's uh, not as tasty. It doesn't taste like a doner kebab, I would say. But it's in, I thought it was in the same ballpark. <clears throat> is garam masala even something you're supposed to put in a doner kebab? Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know what they put in doner meat, to be honest. I just I just know it comes on a big, big stick, a big pole, and you've got to shave it off. It always looks like so much fun. <laughs> Um, it's great when you get a big bit of dollar meat and you go like, ooh, big bit of dollar meat. Because <laughs> they shave it off a big long thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, that was Spuddos. Tried all six flavours. I've still got faking hunters of crisps left, so I'm not going to go short on crisps for the rest of the month, that's for sure. And I've uh, got plenty of flavours to choose from. So, what's my favourite? Though, well, that's the question. You got Donner, David Bacon, Prawn Cocktail, Chip Shop Curry Sauce, Salt and Vinegar, and the Nooch and Onion. Hmm. It's hard, it's tough. I think I would probably say the Chip Shop Curry Sauce was my favourite of the six flavours. Uh, it, just, it just hits all the right buttons. You know, it tastes like Chip Shop Curry Sauce. Um, it's closer to store-bought chip shop curry sauce than like real chip shop curry sauce, but that's okay because store-bought chip shop curry sauce is really nice. Um, so that, that's lovely. It was very flavorful. You got the flavor just straight like that. So you don't need a lot of the salt either. So that was that was really nice. I think that one is the best one. The nutrient onion was good too. I really liked that. Um, the only one I'm, I'm not really that sold on is the salt and vinegar. I think the salt and vinegar, there's better salt and vinegars out there. I think uh, it's, it's, you gotta go pr pretty hard to beat just Walker's salt and vinegar, to be honest. Um, and you know, I, I love Golden Wonder. I, I try, I've eaten millions of crisps, but I think the simplicity of a Walker's salt and vinegar, it's just salt and vinegar. No salt and balsamic vinegar or salt and malt vinegar or any. Fancy vinegar pish. It's just salt and vinegar. Plain as it plain as day, and it's lovely. This uh, it's okay, but it's um, the salt. It's the salt. It tastes more like salt than vinegar. It doesn't have enough vinegar in it for me. But but there you go. That was a comprehensive review of Spuddos. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Pretty good brand, I would say. The crisps are really nice. They're crunchy, a little bit, little bit uh, oily. They've got good flavour. You get a lot of choices when it comes to the flavours. You can, you know, it lets you control how much or how little salt you're putting on your crisps. So you can make them more subtle in their flavour or just 
smack, <laughs> smack you in the mouth with their flavour. So you get a lot more control over your crisps, which I like. I like that because too many times I've bought a bag of crisps and I'm just like, eh, not enough salt. Or, you know what, there's hundreds of salt on here, but it still tastes like nothing. You know, I've, I've had all these different different <laughs> things have come out of my mouth while reviewing crisps on this channel. This helps to avoid all that. You can, you know, adjust as you go. You know, you put it in your bags, shake it up, try it. Eh, not quite enough salt, I'll add a bit more, you know. So... Yeah, really good idea. It's not unreasonably expensive and um, it's nice. But good job. I like you, Spuddos. And um, we'll see, I'll see how I get on. Like uh, by the time I finish this tub, how much of the seasonings I'll have left. And it might be worth me just buying another box or another or a bag to fill my box because we're, we're environmentally, friend environmentally friendly over here. Uh, so yeah, that'll do. Thanks very much for watching this long ass video. It's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed my comprehensive review of Spudos. Um, subscribe, uh, I guess. Uh, hit the bell to get notifications. Uh, there'll be some videos popping up on your screen at some point. Watch one of them because, 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 because I told you so. Just do it, right? Good, good lad or lassie or in between. And um, yeah, that'll do. Thanks very much. I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you then. Laters on the menu.